Good day viewers, welcome to the channel. From the latest update, Over Protocol has talked about the KYC, the partnership with Hashkey Protocol, but there are still some issues because some countries are not allowed, but they have a response. We're going to be looking into that today. Meanwhile, let's talk about icebergs. They recently posted something. It says, want to reveal a little more information about iceberg points. And announced that 30% of iceberg is dedicated to the community. Iceberg will be revealing the core app this month. We'll keep the focus and encourage Iceberg Plus subscribers and users of the main app. You can see in the thumbnail, it says 30% of iceberg for the community. Firstly, we want to acknowledge and reward those who supported us in the early stages and actively participated in farming Iceberg Point in Iceberg Play. In the future, Iceberg Point will be converted into Icebergs. Moreover, with the launch of the Iceberg app, the main version of our product will continue to work on Iceberg Play. In the future, gamification will be implemented allowing users to earn more points. True Iceberg Play will also introduce users to the main version of the product. Secondly, as we have already mentioned, within our airdrop campaign, priority will be given to users of the main version of the product, namely the Iceberg app. But now, here comes the problem. For this, a separate point system called Iceberg Plus Points. Aha! Now we have it. There's going to be a priority list. Will be created. This point system will be available to users within an I. Okay, now we have a paywall, right? Great job. With an Iceberg Plus subscription, and will have a greater value than Iceberg Points. So having Plus Points, subscribing is going to give us greater value of points whether we mind or not so those people will basically be earning more no matter the effort and referrals you got in conclusion the highest priority and value for the iceberg project lie with real users who contribute significantly to the iceberg ecosystem so for an airdrop we have to pay money we have to put in a whole lot of money for a token that we are not sure of we have to contribute to their ecosystem according to what they are saying and development of our product. However, we will also remember our early Iceberg Play users and their rewards. Wow, you're sure going to remember it by doubling what we got or not? You're not very straightforward with that. Expect more updates and details on the implementation of Iceberg Plus Point system in the near future. And now in between the 30% that the Iceberg community is going to get, 22.5%, which is 75%, is going to Iceberg Plus Point and 5% is going to Iceberg Point. So, are we really going to get as much as we should for actively putting in effort, referring, and even making their project known? I doubt. If you have to go to the Iceberg app in Telegram, there are tasks to complete. And some of the tasks is to upgrade. So, it's a task to earn Iceberg Point by completing it, and maybe even Iceberg Plus Point. Once you do that, it will show you this. You have to select which medium you want to use so i selected stars let's say you're using stars and i have the conversion rate for all of them so if you were to do for one month one month is close to 20 dollars around the region of 18 to 21 dollars three months you're paying 45 dollars six months you're paying close to 12 months you are paying up to 95 dollars now if we want to add to your community or help your community for subscription of course it depends on what you want to pay for how long and what you'll be earning but for one year we're going to be paying 95 dollars how much are you planning to give us because most projects sometimes they can ask for some money whether in pre-sale or using these kinds of methods and you don't even see the product sometimes, but even if you see the product, is it worth paying the subscription for? And it's also for the people who are doing the airdrop. By getting more plus points, we are going to get more of the percentage of the airdrop, right? Which means that we need to pay to be able to get the better amount. Now, this is a whole lot of payment for a whole lot of people. Of course, it is not for. So if you don't want to, you do not need to. Although they need to come out and actually explain a lot they haven't said a lot about this they haven't even given a proper video guide if you want to complete the payment although it's a bit straightforward explain what you want people to do is it only for the people who want to use your product which is 
to help people organize things or must we also do it if we want an airdrop plus points is not a good mechanism you're basically fleecing out a lot of people who use their hard end efforts bringing people to your platform that contributed to your ecosystem and you're taking them out by putting a paywall in front of them not fair at all that's my thoughts on this what are your thoughts put in the comment section we want to hear them out now there was an issue between that some nigerians held and that was the fact that the exchanges had problems with nigeria now for the first one flipsa of course there were some issues but they were resolved at the very end of the time given for the civil detection apart from that the hash key global also was available to nigerians if you came in early around 15 to 16 and after that maybe around three days but after that they stopped before 19th Nigeria was removed from the eligible countries. So if you didn't come in early or, and use your passport, what was available then was voter card. That was what you could use apart from passport. But if you didn't have your passport or your voter card, then you wouldn't have been able to do it. So let's say you didn't or you were not able to do it as quickly. Then of course you were ineligible. But that is not to say you should have been early or because you weren't early, it's your fault. No because there is a period and the period hasn't even started so because of that you are good to go but you're only good to go for for the other channel that you're going to get on that over protocol which is what we're going to be looking into today hence for the nigerian users and any other users who have had problems with both hashkey and flipsa the chance we are going to get is what the ceo has currently said let's read over team always tries to provide the best method but some users may experience inconvenience due to various regulations and situations. As always, it is impossible to provide a perfect method. However, these users get an alternative opportunity provided through the Google form, which will be published on August 26. So that's the date for it. Distributed after the end of hash key CBO detection. I'm really regrettable that participants who have contributed faithfully from the beginning and participants who came a little later but contributed more faithfully experiencing inconvenience in the process of getting recognized for their contribution due to unavoidable circumstances so i suggested to the team that these participants be given an opportunity and the team accepted it positively if they had tried to abandon the community they had contributed to they would not have made such a decision this opportunity is not the third civil detection but we have prepared at least an alternative so please check the alternative they have prepared and understand their position rather than taking the team's intention maliciously not all users who filled out the google form will be eligible for the airdrop the relief criteria will be announced along with the airdrop evaluation criteria on august 30th what does this mean it means that on august 26 there's going to be a google form so make sure to be as early as possible once it comes so once it comes you you fill in what is required of you in the form and you are sure to do it the right way. Apart from that, on August 30th, four days after the form comes out, there's going to be a third civil detection. So there's going to be a third chance. Why is there going to be a third chance? It's because of the people who will not be eligible for the August 26th Google form that's going to be coming out. So that's it. We're going to have a third civil detection and also another chance. But it is not the third. The Google Forms is only another chance, another viable option. As long as they are being open to the community, even though you might have some frustrations, unless you want to back out. Now, you just have to wait until we can do the CB detection and hopefully they bring a better way of doing it for the third and last option. We'll also be able to see the airdrop of evaluation on that date. But that is for this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time and for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then.